Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I will be looking at the Matrix Orbital BLK202A Serial Character LCD. What is included in this package is a 12 inch serial ribbon cable. Now this ribbon cable goes plugged into your motherboard's serial port, then gets plugged into this. This gets installed into the back of your case, then this part goes installed into the back of the LCD. They've also included a modified Y power cable, and this part right here gets plugged into the back of the LCD, then this goes plugged into your power supply. Also included is an installation and setup guide, some software, and the LCD. On the front of the unit you can see that there are seven buttons, there is four arrow buttons here on the left hand side, and three different other buttons on the right. Now these have to be assigned when you have everything connected and the software is running. You can configure these buttons at that point. That's very important to remember. You can't just use these. You have to assign these with the software. Now on the back of the unit, this is where you make all those connections for the power as well as the serial connection. I'm going to show you how to do that with the case so you can really see what happens. First of all though, what you need to do is make the appropriate connections. Now this is important. If you make the wrong one here, you're going to fry the unit. So be very careful when you are doing this. You want to make sure you're connecting it correctly. For example, this one here goes plugged right here and the power goes plugged right here. Again, be very, very careful that you're making the correct connections. The next step is to install the LCD in the front of your case, then connect it to the power supply, and also install this into the back of your case. And lastly, use the 12 inch serial ribbon cable, plug one end into your motherboard's serial port, like so, and the other end down here. Now, if you have a motherboard that does not have a serial port, you can get a USB to serial adapter. You will need software to get this product operational. And the software I recommend is called LCDC. And their website is lcdc.planetdps.com. And when you're there, you can go into the download section and download the latest trial version. Once you have downloaded the software and installed it, you'll need to configure and test the product to see if it's working. And all you need to do is make sure that you know which COM port you have the product connected into. You can select COM1 or COM2 right here. Also select a speed and be sure to select the correct model you are using. In my case, of course, it's the BLK. 202A. You can also adjust some LCD properties, for instance the contrast, the backlight intensity, as well as the brightness. Now there are a few other settings right here, for instance the system clock and also different email configurations. You can go through all that. Once you have everything set up properly, go ahead and test it. If it works, fantastic, continue. If it doesn't, go back to this area right here, check and make sure that you have everything set up properly. The next thing to do is create different screens. Go into the screen builder part of the software and start creating the different screens. You can assign a screen name, you can tell it how long that particular screen stays on the display in seconds. You can also do transitions, for instance, scroll off and on from the right, from the left. You can do a scroll over from the left to the right zap it in, zap it out, do all kinds of crazy things like that. But let's go back to creating the first screen. Now the first screen I'm just going to have text. The first line you can see here, I can enter 3dgameman.com. I can have that text left aligned, centered, right, or none. Also I can do a scroll option, either select never, always, or only if needed. On the second line I'm going to have the word kick ass. I'm going to align that center and also I'm going to select scroll never. So again, the first line will have 3dgameman.com and the second line will have kickass. Now that's pretty simple. And once you finish doing that, just say OK right here and it will save that screen. Now let's go on to something a little bit more complicated. Let's say we want the date of the system in the first line. 
That's not going to be a problem. You go ahead right here on the right hand side and then select that particular option, date, from here. And once you've done that, select it and it will pop in. And of course, align it or scroll it, do whatever you need to do there. On line two, I want to select the time. Same thing, go back into here, select that, pop it in, say OK, save it. Once you've done that, it will display what you needed and what you've done here in this screen builder. Now let me show you the two screens which I have created. And this is what it looks like. And just to recap, the first screen has 3dgameman.com on the first line and Kickass on the second line, and that only stays on for three seconds. And the second screen has the date on the first line and the time on the second line, and that stays on for seven seconds. And also I've set a random transition between those different screens. Now you can have two screens or 200 screens, and you can have this unit showing all kinds of information, all the way from showing you how many emails you have or integrated within WinApp to show you information on your MP3 songs. These LCDs really add a coolness factor to a case, no questions about it. They are well priced and of course they are very, very functional because you can get these things to display anything from MP3s to temperatures on your CPU. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also pop into my website www.3dgameman.com and while you're there you can go into the forums and register. If you haven't already registered, registration is completely free. Until the next time, take care.